Hello, and welcome to my red office throne. <laughs> so we are here for a full day of eating video. Oh my gosh, the most common request that I get by far. So I hope you are here for some fun meal ideas. That's definitely why I enjoy watching other people's what I eat in a day videos. And I will throw my current calories and macros up here on the screen for you. But remember that those are just for me, my body, where I'm eating and where I'm at right now. Don't just take those and apply them to yourself. I definitely recommend experimenting with how you feel best, what foods treat your body best and make you feel good every day and eat that way. Okay, so small caveat there. But I am working into my lean gaining phase I'm just over 2,000 calories right now. I hope to push calories a lot higher, actually, but my appetite just hasn't quite been there yet. Um, but I do need to eat more to put on size, right? That's just part of it, and all of my feedback when I've been competing has been to get bigger. So that's my goal. That's why I'm taking some time off to really put on size. If you want a full physique update, check out my last video. But let's dive in to some of my meals. Uh, this is a pretty average day for me, what I'm gonna show you today. So, oh, keep in mind that everything's not super duper accurately tracked, weighed, and measured. Just because I do like to give myself some of that freedom and flexibility in my off season, because it really helps me give 110% to accuracy and consistency when I do decide to diet again by giving myself that little bit of flex or wiggle room uh, right now where I'm at. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't be too hard on me, please. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into it. Here is a full day of eating, how I'm eating right now around my maintenance level calories. Enjoy. Good morning, officially. So I had my coffee, I did some journaling, and just made this delicious smoothie bowl. This is going to be my pre-workout meal. Then I'm going to head to the gym. It's an upper body day today, so I'm gonna get that lift in and then officially kind of dive into my work day. So, cheers. I forgot you guys might want to check out the supplements I'm taking right now before I head to the gym. So first up is my pre-workout. So right now I am just doing a little bit of pulse. If I can get this, there we go, by Legion. Um, they do sponsor our Boom Boom Performance Podcast. So you can use code Caroline TCM if you want a discount. That's the way that I use too. Uh, this is their non-stimulant pre-workout, which I like because I have coffee in the morning uh, and I'm eating at maintenance calories, but if I were on prep, I'd usually take all the stimulants I can get. <laughs> so they do have a stimulant version of that too. It tastes really good. Um, just a little bit of that tingliness uh, that I kind of like in a pre-workout, but not overbearing. And then I am taking my creatine pre-workout right now too, just because that's the easiest time for me to remember. Three to five grams per day is usually the recommended dose of creatine. And I really just take any product that has Crea Pure in it, just to make sure it's a high quality creatine in that product. Um, and time of day doesn't matter with creatine, uh, just in case you're curious. And then the only other thing I'm taking right now is this. Uh, Omega-3s plus vitamin D by Vital Choice. They are third-party tested, very, very pure fish oil supplement. Um, 
and it has D, which I do take in the winter. I don't usually take vitamin D in the summer, but it's fall and I'm inside more right now, so I am taking the omega-3s with vitamin D. And that's it for supplements right now, plus the whey protein that I use in my smoothie bowl that I showed you. But I like to go pretty light with supplements most of the year, just because if I am dieting or if I'm in contest prep, I'll usually take a little bit more. Uh, different supplements like something for stress usually a multivitamin or a greens drink and really just because you're literally giving your body less fuel and less nutrients when you're dieting right because you're not eating as much so it can be harder to get in the vitamins and minerals and everything else that your body needs from food when calories are lower but right now my calories are nice and high i feel really satiated and energized every day. So I like to always take a period of the year where I keep supplements nice and low and just let my body kind of do its thing. Okay, now to the gym, here we go. All right, I am cooking my post-workout meal, finally. I even washed my hair after the gym for you guys. It's a big day. <laughs> and I also stopped by Starbucks on my way home from the gym. Uh, so you'll notice if you're looking at the little MyFitnessPal screenshots, you'll be like, this bitch didn't track her Starbucks drink. You are correct. That is one of the things I really enjoy about off season. When I'm in prep, everything goes tracked. Like no excuses, get it, get it done. Um, but when I'm doing more of an off season, lean gaining like I'm doing right now, I like to give myself a little bit of flexibility. So if I got, you know, I got one pump of toffee nut and one pump of mocha in a cold brew, so that would put me probably like five to 10 grams of carbs over for the day, I'm not gonna sweat it. Um, that's just part of the freedom and flexibility that I give myself during an off season. All right, so breakfast. For our guest post-workout meal, eggs going down. And I got some sourdough under the broiler, toasting that up, yum. Post-workout meal. So I do always like to get in some protein and starches post-workout. If I was lower on protein today, I would have added some egg whites to these eggs, but I'm in a good spot today to hit my goals. And I am eating gluten. This is kind of like my main exception is this sourdough made by a local bakery. Uh, sourdough tends to be the easiest on the gut for most people. And this is locally made, organic, really fresh bread. So that's kind of the only gluten that I eat. Uh, just because the way that we grow grains in this country doesn't usually do the gut any favors as far as the GMOs and the pesticide use. So I normally stick to potatoes, veggies, fruits for most of my starches, but I got this new loaf of sourdough the other day, so I'm digging into that for kind of a treat today. So I got some work done, I just walked my dogs, and now it is time to eat again. And meal three is meal prep. So I pretty much always prep my lunches over the weekend and that's what this is. This is a turkey taco bowl, kind of. So ground turkey, black beans, um, rice, and I topped it with cottage cheese and some random greens. Pro tip, always make your own taco seasoning. If you buy those taco packets by like the, whatever, like taco company brands, they're usually filled with preservatives, fillers, some nasty stuff if you actually read the back of those packets. And taco seasoning is crazy simple. It's like five spices that you probably already have in your cupboard. So Google that next time you do any type of taco recipe. And I hope you've noticed that my meals are kind of random, right? Like I just pick a protein, a veggie, and I combine it with like spices or whatever else I have on hand. I definitely do not follow crazy recipes, especially during the week because I just don't have time. And something like this is way easier to track, right? There's like five ingredients in this. So highly recommend just keeping your meal prep super simple. Pick a protein, pick a veggie, add some starch if you've got those extra carbs to fill, done, right? And honestly, I usually eat a little bit wider variety of veggies. You probably noticed today I'm eating a lot of uh, leafy greens of different types, but that's really just because I'm subscribed to a CSA share right now, or community supported agriculture, farm share, kind of the same thing. So basically I pay a local organic farm ahead of time and they just drop off veggies to my house every week. 
So this week was just a lot of different, like I think this is like baby spinach and maybe pea sprouts. I don't know, I'm just going with it. Uh, but usually I like to have a little bit more variety in my color and getting in some cruciferous veggies and things like that just to get a wider mix of micronutrients uh, and different types of fiber. But today is just a lot of different leafy greens from my CSA share and that's, it is what it is. <laughs> And then I know cottage cheese on a taco bowl is kind of weird, but it's actually delicious. So don't knock it till you try it. And I don't have avocado. So again, it is the way it is. <laughs> so meal three going down weird turkey taco bowl. Are you guys the best dogs? Yes, best dogs. Very good. Time to cook some dinner. I'm already in my PJs. Was in real clothes for about like three hours for you guys today. But all right, what we got going down. So I am doing bonza pasta, which if you've never had this, it is the best gluten-free pasta ever. So delicious, try it out. Uh, I'm going to make that with some tilapia just in a pan with olive oil. And for the veggies, I'm going to roast some turnips. So kind of just a weird root vegetable. I'm gonna peel them and roast them like I said. What do you think, Banks? Sound good to go? Yeah! All right, last meal of the day. And I realize this is a very bland, white looking meal, <laughs> but sometimes your meals aren't for the gram, right? If you're invested in fitness and nutrition, you probably have a lot of meals that look like this. They're not really Instagrammable, but got a protein, got a veggie, and I have some complex starches, right? Garbanzo bean pasta. So a lot of my meals look boring like this and I Instagram the ones that don't look as boring, <laughs> but most of them look a lot more like this. Um, on the pasta, all I did was put olive oil, salt and pepper. I just was feeling kind of basic today. And then on the tilapia, I did use some of this that I haven't tried on fish before. So taste test. I'd say it's a win for the onion salt. Pretty good. I think tilapia is actually not that bad if you can cook it in fats. I hate eating tilapia on prep because my fats get so low, but since I cooked it in some olive oil, it actually tastes pretty good. And then cayenne on the turnips because they definitely needed a kick, but kept everything really, really simple. So honestly, that's what most of my meals look like. Pretty simple, protein, veggies, a little bit of starch. So give this video a like if you want me to do more full day of eating style videos. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if there is anything that I can do to help you take the next step in your own fitness and nutrition journey. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.